What is up you guys? It is your boy John here from Puma Plow. Welcome to another On The Farm. I do appreciate you guys clicking on the video. How's it going? So today guys, um, as you can see by the already, what I've already put in the video, it's, uh, it's a 995 day today guys. It really is. I am currently sitting out here by the highway. I'm just about to start mowing. I'm going to mow a little bit along the highway. Can't mow too much because there's water in the road ditches still from all of our rain. And then I'm going to mow along the wheat. And then I'm going to put the blade on the tractor, our dozer blade, whatever you want to call it. And I am going to grade the lane today a little bit. Um, with all that rain we had, we really tore up our road and uh, I'm not happy with it. Then I'm going to put the harrow on, harrow the lane. Then I'm going to disc the garden and maybe harrow, no, probably not harrow the garden today. I'm going to leave it a little rough. So should be interesting. Uh, lots of time on the old 995 today.
All right, you guys, so that was mowing kind of out at the highway there. And next thing, we're actually gonna go take a little break for lunch. It's very important we go get our lunch, right? Very important for that. And then we are going to, not we, me, me and you, we, I guess, are going to grade the lane. Like I was saying earlier, with that 10 inches of rain that we had there and we were coming in and out and the farmers were coming in and out, the road just got tore up. So it's time to make that road great again. <laughs> or at least as good as we can. But I did want to talk to you guys a little bit about uh, last night, yesterday, what happened yesterday. Uh, yesterday had a 12 hour long live stream. Last Saturday, if you guys are watching this on YouTube now, uh, yesterday for me, real life kind of kind of deal and uh we raised i think it was a little over 500 dollars for extra life i really do appreciate that guys uh the two big shout outs are tex and Dwayne. appreciate it guys uh for your your big donations and uh it was just really cool 12 hour stream because we could you know that's just the only reason and we had 11,000 followers on twitch uh which is very very cool to hit that 11k mark and uh yeah so i just felt like putting that in into the video i'm just saying thanks to you guys and i do appreciate it we're getting real close to twenty four thousand on youtube which is it's pretty awesome not gonna lie that's pretty cool um it is it is very very cool and i greatly appreciate uh appreciate all of them guys and this is on the farms kind of the most vloggy thing you're gonna see from me so i figured i would sit here and kind of talk to you guys for a minute and like i said i just appreciate everybody Hitting that subscribe button, hitting that follow button on Twitch, hitting the like button right here on YouTube. That's uh, cool. Remember, guys, I do have an Instagram as well. Links are in the description. Go check them out. Foonflat.com. It's a cool website. It's got all my all my stuff on there as well. All right, guys, we're going to go get some lunch. I'm not going to film that, of course. That's just kind of awkward. Uh, the whole vlogging thing, I'm still really, like, awkward about. I'm fine right now because nobody can see me or hear me. Dad's in the shed working on some sandblasting and stuff. And uh, so nobody can see me or hear me, so I'm okay with it. But trying to like do anything in public, no. Alright you guys, so I'm out here at the end of the lane. I just did one side, turn around, obviously going to go back. wanted to show you, and it's a little misleading, it's not quite this severe, but if you look, you can see the whole tractor's kind of leaning to the right just because of the way the lane is. But earlier, if you noticed, I was adjusting this handle right here, which this handle right here controls basically a jack right here, which allows this little pole arm to go up and down and uh, so basically what you do is you put that down puts this side of the blade lower 
and therefore you get your tilt going you know what I'm saying so that's the whole magic of most of this so I'll, I'll do this other side and then I usually scrape the center a little bit too otherwise you end up with a high centered road and I don't like that I don't like a high centered road so we'll do that do the center and then we'll harrow you can see the blade shining up real good over here shining up real good see it nice and shiny a little bit of wear not too bad this was grandpa's back in the day so this has been on the farm for quite some time and it's a mile long gravel road and that's pretty much all we use it for don't do any snow clearing or anything like that with it just if there's that much snow we're just not going to come down here so i hope you guys can even hear me over tracking noise i didn't want to shut it off this time she's a little warm needs to keep running just saying but yeah you have all these holes here so you can adjust your blade more i like this angle it's not a, not a lot usually i run with one more hole a little more angle but just this time i decided to go with uh just a little bit straighter you gotta try something different every time you know what i'm saying so yeah, let's get back to this. We got the other side to do and then the center. All right guys, now I'm gonna level it out and straighten it up and do the center. Kind of just push it back to both sides. Seems to work out fairly well. Pretty low leveled up on the three-point hitch there. So should be good to go.
So guys, I have to say, I'm getting really tired of getting on and off that tractor today. Just saying. It is a very rare day here at the farm that we use pretty much every implement that we have for the big tractor. We do have a shredder and we do have the middle buster that we didn't use today. But we did use the blade, the mower, the disc, and the trailer mover. All right, you guys, now I have the hair on and I'm just gonna set it up a couple notches here. Put a little bit of teeth on the first pass. And then after that, probably I'll lay it down for the return trip in the lane. I've just got it hooked right to the, uh, it's got it hooked right to the uh, trailer mover that we have for the three point. That way it keeps these rods back out of my tires as I turn. Uh, it works a lot better. I personally like doing this a lot, putting it on the, the hitch here. It just really seems to work a lot better. Now we're back out by the highway. No one pass. Obviously to get here. So now we're gonna go ahead and drop her down. Almost flat. Probably second notch. Third notch. Third notch. Dang near flat. That's where we're gonna run on the way back in. And we should be done with this project after that. And I'm getting that third notch. He barely wants to go. All right, let's go blast back in now.